Aquarius, hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for early April 2024. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business, as always, and start you off with an oracle card here, just so we could dip our toes into energy and see what's happening for the lovely Aquarians out there. Hope you're all doing fabulous, my friends. Let's get it going here, my guides. Talk to me. What do we got for Aquarius here in early April? It's airy season, the zodiacal new year, lots of stuff happening in the stars. So should have some nice energies to look at. And yeah, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. At the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot. Just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on, which is always interesting. So let's get it going here. Let's rock and see what we got for Aquarius, please. Gods and spirit team, talk to me. What messages and energies do we have for my good friends here? There it is, nice and quick, very dreamy. This is water sign-like type of energy to me. Now, I know Aquarius is the water bearer. You guys are air signs, though. Very logical individuals, very intelligent. This always reminds me of water signs, and there could be something connecting to sleep and imagination. And we'll dive deeper on that. Before we do, though, if you're new here... I'll be speaking about the April subscriber surprise towards the end, so you might want to check that out. Also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo into the reading. Let's have a little chat about this card. So it's one of my favorite cards in the deck. I just love the imagery of it. We have that person, they're wearing their PJs, they have a nightcap on, there's like cloudy etheric energy in the background there's like nonsensical things happening in the card too literally dream catchers so first and foremost we could think of sleep so for a lot of aquarians out there maybe you're not getting as much sleep as you should maybe there's something attached to your sleep state maybe you're having some really interesting vivid dreams in this time and spirits trying to give you symbolic messages through that that's something that you might want to jot down if that's the case if you're having very vivid dreams jot down the symbolism but to me, this is just very imaginative and daydreamy. Different than the mental energy I'm used to feeling from Aquarians. This, like I said, this feels to me like water sign imagination, as opposed to like the nice, logical, sharp Aquarian logic. So for a lot of you in this time, maybe you're daydreaming a little more than normal, right? Maybe your head's in the clouds. We all go through those time periods. But we're just going to put that to the side. Could be any of those things. It could be none of those things. You know how it goes. So let's get into Tarot now. We could let him have a little nap over there. And I always say the first card, it doesn't make or break the reading. It's just a footnote. So let's get your three in the upright. Then we'll get into that intuitive juiciness. Shuffle it up one time here for the Aquarians, please. And while we do, let's talk about your last reading, my friends. It was lovely indeed, your reading last week. So hopefully those energies still bleed over. And you know that could happen. But the reading was titled A Massive Offer. So if you didn't receive one, whether it was an emotional offer, a love offer, a monetary offer, that could still be coming up for you, okay? Like it was just beautiful energy. And I will say this, in recent weeks too, there's just been a lot of moving things, moving parts around the Aquarian vibe. So we're going to see what we have for you this week. As you know, energy is very fluid, never set in stone. So only take this how it hits for you, because we could be seeing your vibe or someone at your link too. Let's get it going here. Three cards for Aquarius. Three cards for my good friends. Thank you. Oh, all right. That's different. So we have the Five of Cups. I was not expecting to see that here. So for some of you, this might not even be yours. This might not even be your energy. This could just be someone around you. Let's get a couple more, though. I don't want to jump to conclusions just yet. Okay, we got Lady Justice in position number two. Some Libra energy, a fellow air sign. Let's get one more out here, then we'll really piece this together. We've got some karmic energy to really keep an eye on, that's for sure. Something could be coming into the state of balance, hopefully. Let's see what the back end card is, though. Okay, nine wands, very much guarded type of vibe here, Aquarius. So we're going to talk about this. This is absolutely a shift of energy from what I felt for you last week, and it's all good. Remember, you might be dealing with someone that's a little difficult, okay? That's like an, a vibe I'm picking up already, that this might just be a very difficult individual, guarded, closed off. But let's go through, I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes, and we'll get into the juicy, intuitive stuff. So at first look, first glance here, I'm picking up a lot of internal energy, just like we had the daydreaming in the very beginning with this dreamy type of energy. 
We got some water, we got some air. We do have fire in the mix as well, but it just feels like there's a lot going on internally. So whether that's within you or someone you're connected to, it's like they're going through a lot, they're processing a lot. Uh, strong major arcana here that's like trying to balance things off, but I feel like there's like some resistance in the energy. Normally in a reading, I feel like either there's energetic support or there's resistance. I'm picking up the resistance so far. So let's go through one by one and really start to piece this together. Remember, whether this is yours or somebody else's, but position number one, we have the Five of Cups, the River of Tears. Oh no. Now this is far from the worst card in the tarot deck, but this isn't easy either. This is not easy street. So we think of anything like that makes you shed tears, right? It could be sadness, it could be stress, it could be anxiety, just something that's not quite ideal when we have this Five of Cups. Now, I do always say this could be on a spectrum. It could be something very minor. Some of you might just be feeling a little gloomy, right? But it could also be major. It could be like heartbreak and depression. It all really depends. And we want to see what clarifies it. The good thing about the Five of Cups, though, to me, this is more of like an emotional purging. So for a lot of Aquarians in this time, maybe that's something you need. Maybe you need a good cry. Maybe you need an emotional purging to help process something. That's just the vibe I'm picking up here. Um, a good thing about the Five of Cups is that there are still possibilities. Notice there are still two cups that are full. There's still stuff off in the distance. So this isn't like the end of it all by any means. That's just the energy I'm picking up here. Now, moving to the center, we have Lady Justice, a very powerful universal type of energy in any spread. So you might be connected to the Libra. You might have Libra placements yourself. Doesn't always have to be, though. And Lady Justice covers a wide range of different things. Now, for some of you, be careful with legal situations. Anything contractual, anything that you have to sign your name on, whether it's a lease, whether it's a contract, a loan, you name it. When Lady Justice is there, watch out for anything contractual or anything legal. She can represent bringing balance to the situation or trying to. It could be making a decision or a choice, of course, but she is the biggest card of karma. And karma does connect to the universe itself and the cycles that we go through. So we're going to see if someone's paying some sort of karmic debt. Maybe it's good karmic balance coming into play. We'll just have to see. In her roughest sense, the Lady Justice card could represent somebody that feels like they were done wrong. Somebody that feels like something isn't fair, something isn't right, something isn't balanced. But we're not going to jump to that conclusion. It is what it is. Now, on to the back end, we have the Nine of Wands, very protective. Um, for some of you, you might be putting the wall up in this time. Now, the Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior, somebody that's been through a lot. Somebody who's been through a lot, they don't want to go through it again. They are on guard, they are skeptical, they have put that wall up type of energy. So maybe you're having communication issues with a person, that's for sure. Maybe there's a situation or something you are very skeptical of when the Nine of Wands is here, but it is that walled off type of energy. Now, I do always say that this could be good. It's just somebody playing it safe. It doesn't mean that this is a permanent wall, but to me, it just feels like somebody closing off their energy or just being very protective. That's why I also mentioned that you might be dealing with someone that's a little bit problematic, okay? Like someone that may be a little set in their ways and set in their emotions. Now, the clarifiers are really gonna tell us the deal of what's going on. But this could represent someone, if it's not just a problem in general, somebody that's really gone through something and they might be struggling a little bit. So I want to dive deeper on all of it, Aquarius. Let's jump in and clar clarify. Okay, let's get a good shuffle here for you, my friends. Let's see what's happening, my guides. Talk to me. What do we got for Aquarius? And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot. Because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. Let's go in on that Five of Cups. And yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages that you want to give to Aquarius, you could drop it in the comments. I don't mind at all. All right. Let's go in on that Five of Cups. The cards are jumping. They want to get out. So why is the Five of Cups here? Thank you. Judgment in reverse. Someone can't let something go here. This is somebody going through a situation where it's like, I, I can't let this go yet. Or I, I don't know if I ever can. I don't know if I ever will. This is very intense. Okay, so I don't know if this is just someone that's being a little dramatic 
but you heard the things I just said, and I'm kind of pecking that up in a really, really big way. There is somebody that might be doing like mental gymnastics here. There's someone that could be dwelling on the past and reliving, revisiting memories. It's just like thought loops, thought loops showing up here. So to me, this is already a problem before we even get to the back end. Now, hopefully this energy does start to balance out with Lady Justice. Judgment in reverse also is a karmic energy. There is somebody who is really not happy or they're upset with something that's already elapsed. Okay, something that's already happened. And on an intuitive sense, like this is somebody that is having a really, di really difficult time. It doesn't matter what they say or what they do. Internally, this is somebody having a really difficult time letting go of something. Okay, or processing it at the very least, right? I mean, everyone knows that, you know, human beings, we have memories. We're always going to remember things. But if they're left unprocessed, that's when it could cause long-term emotional issues. And there's someone here on the struggle bus, that's for sure. There's a problem here. We're going to keep moving forward. We're not going to stay hung up here like this energy is. We're going to keep moving. Um, once again, I'm, I'm getting thought loops, right? Like someone who's just, they put themselves in a cycle of some sort, like a mental cycle or an emotional cycle. And it's like reliving, reliving, revisiting, revisiting. Okay, so let's see what Lady Justice has to say. There's a lot of stress here. There's a lot of stress in the front end. And I do feel for a lot of Aquarians, I, I don't think this is all your energy. I mean, some of you maybe, but I feel for most of you, this could be someone you're connected to, not quite you. So let's see what Lady Justice has to say. Thank you. Hermit in reverse. Yeah, someone's going to pop up out of nowhere. Someone could pop up out of nowhere, my friends. We have the Hermit in reverse underneath Lady Justice. This could be karmic action in play. This could be karma getting served up to someone for sure, but I don't necessarily feel like that's the case here. Lady Justice with the Hermit in reverse does talk about like something eventually coming into a place of balance. The Hermit in the upright, aside from Virgo energy, for some of you might be connected to a Virgo, this could represent the dark night of the soul. Okay, that's one of the meanings. Like the Hermit is wisdom and it's inner knowing and spirituality, of course, but it could also represent the dark night of the soul. So when I see it in reverse under Lady Justice, like, yeah, this person, they'll, they'll eventually come out of it. They're not quite there just yet, but this person is going through some problems. That's for sure. Like this isn't the, the best time now. Yes, this could be the universe and spirit stepping in or at least trying to assist, but I'm getting this energetic resistance. Okay, like even if the universe does try to assist, this person's going to like resist the, the assistance, resist the help because the energy is so closed off. That's a big thing I'm picking up here. Remember, only take this how it hits for you. I'm just I'm picking up a lot of complexity and nuance in this week's reading, Aquarius. Now, we're going to keep moving forward because I feel like there's not much to say aside from now. Like, yeah, the universe is going to balance this. This person will come out of it eventually. I don't necessarily feel like it's spirit forcing something, though. And for a portion of you, especially if you're connected to a Libra or a Virgo, this energy could be them like popping up out of nowhere type of vibe. So let's see why the Nine of Wands is here. Like to try to make something right. I mean, for some of you, if you're not connected to those signs, it could be someone that's like, can we talk about this? Can we try to make this right? So I'm getting so many different messages here. There's gonna, someone going to want to pop up to try to make something right. Let's see why the Nine of Wands is here. Okay, thank you. Hmm, all right. There's a lot of resistance here in the energy. And you know what, Aquarius, I'll be honest with you, especially if you're a longtime watcher, you know that I love when spreads have a happy ending, right? Like, I'll take all the roughness. I'll take all the rough and tough messages, and I'll give them to you straight. I love when there is a happy ending, but there's something suspended about this energy that I don't know why that term came in it's like suspended animation within this energy where it just it feels like it's like really moving slowly or stuck here now I will say this there could be someone yeah if they whether they're going through big problems or not the energy just feels extremely slow moving there could be a big time of healing that either you or another person are going through right now. I would say be a little skeptical, like, because with the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Swords in reverse, it's like, okay, you need to do what's right for your own mental health and emotional health in this time. So if there's something that you don't want to give your energy to for whatever reason, whether it's this person that's going through something or it's something completely different, if you don't want to give your energy to it, if you don't have the energy to give to it, then don't. Do what's right by yourself. Do what's right for your own mind state and 
your own well-being. I do feel like someone is in a time of intense healing and processing, though. Aside from that message, with the Nine of Wands, Eight of Swords, there is somebody there really processing a lot. And I did, I, I mentioned that problem we were picking up as well. This just feels very intense to me, and it feels pretty heavy, Aquarius. Let's go through and do a quick recap, and we'll see if we have any more messages in the Shadow card. But position number one, we have the Five of Cups with Judgment in reverse. To me, this felt like something or somebody that just can't let something go, and they can't quite process it. This to me felt like, yeah, it could be a big problem because this is a thought loop where someone's like revisiting it, revisiting, revisiting. It's like they can't let it go for whatever. It's hard to process and the energy will process eventually, but this is just someone having a difficult time. Okay, straight up. Moving to the center, we have Lady Justice with the Hermit in reverse. Yeah, this could be somebody popping up to try to or want to resolve something at the very least. Like, hey, let me help out or let's talk about this. That's a possibility. Um, but there's such a guarded energy all over the place. I don't know how that would work out. I did also say this could be someone eventually coming out of it, right? Because of what the Hermit is with the Dark Knight of the Soul, eventually balancing off. So that could be a really good thing. But on the back end, we have the Nine of Wands with the Eight of Swords in reverse. If you don't want to involve yourself in it, Aquarius, that's fine. You could keep yourself at a distance. If you think it's going to affect you too much mentally and emotionally, watch out for yourself in this time. There is somebody doing a lot of processing, though. And it still feels like it's in mid-process. So do that what you will. I know there were some warnings here and some problems we're picking up. Please take a screenshot. Remember, if that wasn't hitting for you, if everything's fine and dandy, if everything's good, you could check your other alignments, right? You know how tarot goes. But I did mention that I don't feel like this is all Aquarian's energy. That To me, it could just be someone outside of yourself. But let's see what's up. Let's see what's in the shadows for Aquarius. And yes, I always like to pull one of these at the very end just to see whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see. Shadow cards don't always have to be a bad thing. They could be good as well. So what do we got for Aquarius in the shadows? And yes, if you've made it to this point in reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it in the comments below. It's a beautiful way to support the channel and I have much love and appreciation for all my channel members. I really do. So let's get this card out here. Okay, I didn't even, I did like one shuffle and the Ace of Swords came out, so I'm taking it. So when I see Aces in the shadows, this can represent uh, hidden opportunities or offers coming in for you. Now, the Ace of Swords is the Sword of Truth, and it does deal with someone's mind state, but also communicating. I feel like if you're going through any of the things that were just described here, having some sort of release valve for it would help. Having some sort of conversation or communication could really help the situation along with what we're seeing here with the sword of truth and in, in the shadows like there could be something you need to get off your chest or this person at least needs to get off their chest now when i see the ace of swords aside from the communication aside from the mindset and mind state it could be cold sometimes okay so if you're in a place right now aquarius where you you're feeling a little cold yourself like listen i don't got the energy to deal with that and I mean, this sort of truth could cut things off as well, but it's very harsh um, when we look at the shadow side of it. So in this time, I would say use a soft approach with others, with yourself, and even with this person. Don't be too harsh with people here. Um, but communication could really go a long way. Now, if you are in the energy of what I just described, you're probably not going to take that advice, and that's fine. But eventually, you might want to take that advice and really let something out. So Aquarius, that's what I have for you this week, my friends. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give the details of the April subscriber surprise. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you could check out my digital calendar and schedule at mastermetaphysics.com. And if you got your name in for the March subscriber surprise, the winners will be announced on April 1st. But for the April subscriber surprise, I'm giving away two copies of the beautiful Tarot in Wonderland. It's one of my favorite decks. So if you'd like to get your name in for that, it's two simple things. As always, my friends, first, you must be subscribed. And second, let me know down in the comments, if you had to switch your zodiac sign, which sign would you choose to be out of the whole 12? So if you do that, you'll be entered to win. And at the end of the month, the winners will be announced in my community tab. As always, my friends, much love. I'll see you soon.